Hello and welcome to Bizarre vs. Greyhound. This is BSTA AU MDL Season 32. Sorry to jump in just so quickly, but the pistol round is about to begin. You're joined by myself, Jevons, and my co-caster, Bemi. Bemi, how you doing? Pretty stellar. How are you, bud? I am so glad that the game I get to come back and cast CS Gunners is going to be Greyhound Gaming, as well as checking out Bizarre Gaming as well. And on Overpass, which, um... Yeah, yeah, I like this map. What can I say? <laughs> How about you? How have you? I been? like the map too. I I'm a big fan of it. I like. Uh, oh, okay. Well, well that's uh, a good. Uh, I I was not expecting that. <laughs> no, I don't think. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll carry I don't this think topic for later. Then was expecting that either. Um, that was that was pretty quick. And to be honest, bizarre. That's an early advantage. That's gonna be pretty good for them. Ins. Might have been able to get something in return there, but not going to be able to do it, so he's just going to hang out in uh, construction instead. Wait for the tease. Looks like it, they're about to push A. I really do like this map a lot. I feel like um, I'm a really big fan of op plays, and I feel like ops are really complimented here uh, on this map the most, compa uh, comparatively so, to like a bunch of others. Yeah, well, Lotto is um, from Inns. Trade does come out there, same TIW is going to be able to get some ground, but there's already Malta and Dexter waiting on this side. Sicko though, from heaven. Rain's damp bit of hell. Takes out Tomato. MTIW just able to get the bomb plant, but uh, now it's 2 versus 3. And actually, now it's now it's 0 versus 3 as a uh, ground. Wow, that's oh, Sorry, up. Greyhound, get the uh, first round. Well, that was an interesting place, Smoke, that literally didn't cover Dexter at all. They got immediately eliminated, uh, so, or that allowed Dexter not to have line of sight. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens in the future. But uh, Ari, right, good start to Greyhound, gets caught off guard a little bit, but then comes right back to it as expected. Uh, you know, at this point, Jeff, you know, they're such a good team and they've been around for a while that uh, all this is starting to become muscle memory for them. So basically, if they lose one, oh my god, that's so much damage. Yeah, that's, um, that's a hefty need there. Uh, if that's how you pronounce it, that, that's, uh, that's not going to bode well for him. And uh, well, yeah, as you say, a lot of this is muscle memory for uh, Greyhound, which is good because they're just coming back from Berlin and they're also uh, missing... One of their core members, Urkas now, who um, Inz has uh, stepped into his shoes. So I think um, with with all these conditions, Bizarre might be able to um, might be able to actually have a bit of a chance here. They gotta play it safe, though. They invest into this immediate buy. It's not a surprise now, but they have to good, find good openings. That's one way to start off. But uh, you know, then again, we saw the one v four happen, or the five v four, excuse me, happen, and. You know, things started turning around. Ince has information as well. He does. He is, uh, he's at the risk of being pinched here, but thankfully the Molotov comes in there and actually takes a lot of pressure off. And Infinity up... Oh, upstairs, just going into toilet, he's able to get to the ground. Sicko's waiting for him, however, and it's now CIW. Try and follow up, but he's not going to be able to do it. Look at Tomato, though. Will they be able to, uh take this two versus three and actually get a uh, very early and well quite a good t round here in this second round overall i think they might be going oh actually they're going to commit to this they are going to try to go for the plant i don't know if likely we'll be able to find much no time's running down as well and there's not actually going to be enough time to play this one, so Ooh, i think that was just I'm within time so tomatoes should yeah, Tomato was able to get some money for that. Um, if it was out of time, then, uh, yeah, that would have been pretty devastating. It would have been great, but overall, bizarre. Interesting choice to go for the save there. I guess they were not really originally wanting to keep the scout in general because they want that scout to turn into an op magically at some point in time. But, you know, now you're going for all these... Now you're going to go for the slight eco. Um, and it's it you're trying to just take away weapons at this point right now for the next couple of rounds if you're bizarre. Yeah, a few shots coming in from well, from MTIW there. So Dick's gonna know there's somebody around there, but 
Greyhound just keeping fairly static positions across the uh, map there, just trying to get some information. Sicko does actually spot Affinity, but not able to land the shots. Dexter, though, he is just going to be making bank. He's just shooting into the party. Sicko wants in on the party. Oof. Yeah. Oh Actually, my that, that shot was <laughs> This is great for them. That is, that is such a good anti-eco there. I mean, of course, they're going up against um, you know, pistols and that, but when you can basically take out all five members of the opposite team there, keep everybody alive, um, only really cop some damage to the armor there. In fact, not even that. He's on 98 armor there, so he's, he's doing great. Um, so Greyhound still staying strong. Uh, bizarre, however, they seem to have gone for another bit of a force up here. Tomato actually stuck with a Desert Eagle. Not going to scoff that, but could be bad news later on. Have to wait and see here. I mean, at the moment, though, this this buy from the star, uh, I really do want to see how they're going to take control of the site because basically they don't have much use today, but they really want to be able to use that efficiently so that they can hold down the site and plant the bomb. But the ba bomb is kind of hanging out, spawning a little bit nearby. I, I don't know what Bizarre is trying to do. They're kind of a little bit too spread out for my liking. Uh, yeah, and two spread out around uh, the base. B. So you actually see Sicko, he, he's creeped around completely and he's got information. So they're going to know that it's going to be a B hit soon. This could basically be a meat grinder that they're walking into. And just to use the Molly to carry that. There's just buy to choose through much more of that time. There's so very compressed and Sicko's actually made his move, taking out the uh, from behind. Oof. Yep, and Tomato will go down as well, but, uh, but excellent flash coming there allows in to pretty much just clean up the uh, rest of bazaar. And there are um, streaks ongoing. This is a going to be a fairly strong CT economy uh, soon. Bazaar, however, they're in a bit of an odd spot. Uh, everybody just below 4,000, but they've got the money to it. Uh, got everybody above 3,000, so yeah. Uh, pistol armor is, is perhaps the uh, best call they could really make at this point. Honestly, maybe even to see if they could just slow down the economy of Greyhound. That's, uh, that's really, I think, what they can hope for. I don't know if you want to slow down the economy at this point, if you're bizarre. I think you want to just try to match the uh, the loadouts, if you will. You Yes, you can take away weapons, but if you're running into situations like this where you're bizarre and uh, individually that I think we could see them pop off, then it might be a good idea to start going for a couple of full staves. Get the full utility and armor that you want to have and get the ideal weapons that allow your players to thrive. Because at the moment they're going for slight egos. They do manage to get a couple of kills, but those weapons are just going to be taken right back up. And Greyhound has the economy to lose a couple of players at the moment. They have, they have to make a serious dent, uh, Jeff, if they really want to like make anything of this mid-game. Yeah, I think that's that's a fairly valid point, especially considering that, um, you know, looking at uh, Greyhound's economy after that, the only one who's really seemed to be on any low kind of money there is Sicko, and that's because he's pretty much just uh, gone and um, pretty much gone a bit of a shopping spree, getting all, all utility. Become a cannon. Yes, a proper cannon, not a glass cannon. That is a, um, <laughs> that's a fairly confident cannon he's, uh, he's become there. That but is like uh, a watchtower from medieval times. <laughs> Or a trebuchet, something like that. But we're gonna unpause now, hop back into this. Money situation is looking a little bit more favorable over on Bazaar. They're able to go in with a proper buy. So this this could be the you know the point where they do actually yeah they match match the uh, buying power of uh, Greyhound there. They've got pretty much sort of even even sort of uh, guns utility to work with. So this is gonna be a little bit more even this round. Yeah, definitely. Bizarre has been really aggressive, though. However, I don't know if they want to push towards A because then they have to go through long and that they're just going to be running into Seiko. Uh, and I think they're aware of this Greyhound, so I think they're going to be really just setting up on Heaven towards B site. So I think this is going to be a really big question of can Bizarre get the information without losing too much and or trade? So then they decide whether to go for the B site or the A site. I hope that you find out that the B site is kind of heavily guarded because one they've been pushing that the most and two it's it's just still a good place for seco to pop off as well so they gotta be really careful with that but already losing you know lotto is not good for your team 
Oh, and that's uh, Big CC actually doing that through the um, through the ply board there from B side there. So that's it's particularly good. He also knows that um, yeah, also know that uh, Tomato was there, I believe it was, because um, actually no, sorry, MTIW. He got a bit of return fire there, so he's gotten a bit of a hit, but bizarre. 30 seconds left. They're gonna actually go for uh, A instead here, and they need to get some kind of foothold. They need to get some kind of result, and Siko's just waiting for them. 20 seconds. They've got to make their move. A lot of hesitation. Yeah, they're running a little bit timidly. Siko actually whiffing the shot there, so this could be the end that they need. Oh no, he doesn't miss the second one though. Tomato's down. Oh, looking at Affinity though. They managed to actually get themselves a little bit of a purchase on the okay. side. Look, he following up as well onto Big Stacy. They can make it's this a work. Plant just barely too. Ooh, well, one versus two situation now. Affinity. He's gonna you have said to be to the pay one. Pay attention who... to this player. Yeah, yeah. He's um. Let's see. He's one to keep an eye on. It's mostly Orpa. <laughs> he doesn't mind the AK though, as Inns just found out. Oh, Christ. that was an excellent clutch. He's. <laughs> this is finally. Putting a I little bit of a. Well. That's a soft pump on the brakes there for Greyhound. They're still going to be steaming ahead. Again, they've got all that money, but um, that's that's a start at least, right? Yeah, definitely. I think again, Jeb. I think the be I think mentally the best way to look at it is not trying to stop Greyhound. I think you're just trying to catch up with them at this point. And I think economically, this is a great way to start off doing it. Now I really want to see how Bizarre does in their comfort zone. They've clutched that around. Can they take a round convincingly is the next step, I would say, as the moment that they do. Again, they manage to have a lot of utility on site. They have a lot of good smokes. Oh, okay. Look, look at Affinity. Yeah, um, yeah. okay, so we, we've seen this boost before. It's, it's not completely uncommon, but um, I always just love seeing it. That's, that's yeah, all no, I wanted to say about it. Like, you it's always, it's always out of the left field, after. isn't it? But, um... Well, Siko and Dexter, they're pretty close up. In fact, Siko is, is definitely close up because he just uh, copped a little bit there, wasn't able to uh, land the shot. But that's some information at least. It says that they're, they're going to be putting a bit more attention back towards A. Doesn't force a rotate out of um, out of Greyhound just yet though. No, uh, Seiko's in such a good place hanging out in mid that why would you not want to have that information? Because Bizarre, again, they, they have a hesitant slow style, and sometimes that's okay, but you're going to get punished in a lot of ways. But speaking of punish, a lot of interesting shots have been, or attempts have been taken by Greyhound, and each time they keep getting tagged, so... I mean, Bizarre is responding, they just don't have too much time to allow that leisure kind of tagging, but we'll see if it rewards them when they actually engage into the fight. Well, they're going to have to do that now. There's no more time to uh, yeah. score here. This is uh, 15 seconds. And, I mean, some kills are coming out there, but the pressure's on. They still haven't dealt with Dexter in long, and he's going to be moving just around the corner. Seven seconds left. The bomb doesn't actually go down. Oh, no, it does not. Inns is able to, uh, able to deny it just at the end, and Affinity dying after time as well. That's, uh, that's going to be a little bit of a better pill to swallow there. It's a really hard pill to swallow. Uh, but I think honestly as well, uh, to put things in perspective, uh, Bizarre is going up against Greyhound, which literally uh, either A was going to come back from Berlin feeling fired up and still just kind of in this uh, zone of just truly awesome power or really tired. Turns out it's going to be A. Uh, and we'll see if that's going to keep the momentum going. I, I don't know, I think Bizarre at this moment is just trying to get a few more rounds in and then go to the second half and try to do better on that next pistol. Alright, good shot with the deal. Gets a pick. I mean, the economy's not as great as it once was for Greyhound, but if they win this next one, they're pretty much still safe. Oh, yeah. And um, as, as you are saying, I mean... Greyhounds, if they have come back from Berlin feeling quite energized, that I'm not even sure if the eco would be a um, too too much of a downer for them. That's bizarre. They're getting into a bit of momentum for this game themselves. Might be able to figure out a potentially exhausted or potentially invigorated uh, Greyhound side. But for now, things have just quietened down. One team is waiting for the other to try and make a mistake. 
Hins cops a slight hit on the side there. You'll repeat though, he doesn't have problems with doing that. MTRW, Tomato, and I Wagib all dead. <laughs> well, I yep. can believe this, but yeah. Well, Affinity, he's um, very far away from this situation. He, he's up in a up in restroom. So, I mean, with with 20 seconds left creeping around, I think his only real job here is to do exactly that. It's to shoot Dick Stacy right in the damn face, which he does. Uh, they're going to know where he is now. They don't want him to hang on to any of that. Very close call. Becomes a not-so-close call. Meaning, didn't avoid it at all. But, all things considered, Infinity, uh, Infinity was in a bit of a uh, tough spot there. And again, they're so spaced out that Bizarre really doesn't have anybody to follow up or trade a lot of the time. So you see these awkward tags, they disengage and then they regroup and then they go spread out once again. And I'm really not fully understanding the playstyle, Jeff. I don't know if I'm being very ignorant to something, but it just feels like Bizarre just wants to cover so much ground at once, but is also trying to... So they're, like, trying to get as much information as they can, and then all of a sudden regroup and then push somewhere, but then it's really slow, so then you allow Greyhound to get the information as well and set up, and it just feels like you wasted about one minute of your time. Well, I think um, you, you kind of had it there with the uh, information plays that Greyhound have been doing. As soon as they've got the... Well, so they can sort of... They want to push, um, say, long A or anything like that. They're getting a lot of information for it, and that's actually caught out Bizarre before, so they've kind of... They, they, they are having to commit that many more resources just to actually uh, make sure that Greyhound doesn't do it, because Sicko from behind has actually been uh, pretty devastating. Um, Inns, however, not so much, not at least for this round anymore. Ooh, a jump from Dick Stacy. Pretty much gives away a little bit of what's going on here. Catches sight of two of the players, that is Lotto. Clean. Ooh, yep, Sicko is uh, down as well, and that's actually put um, Affinity in an interesting position. He's got A, but uh, the rest of his team pretty much have to either rotate back through, where Dexter could catch them out, or they're just going to continue on to B, and I think going to B's the right call here, especially with this much time left. Affinity is going to be able to provide a very decent overwatch. Dexter. Well... He wanted to come around behind them. Wasn't going to be able to do it. And that's, that was uh, a convincing take. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Affinity there just uh, looking about really, really kind of made that for them. Bizarre get themselves a second round on the board. Which has got to feel good. Yeah, especially if you're going up against one of the best pretty much in your region. It always feels good to take on the Titans. So... I think, honestly, Bazaar should be patting themselves on the back. It was a very clean round. They committed more, and I like that idea of what they did, RIP Tomato. But uh, I like what they did, which was, like like you said, there was already a lot on B, so they were like, you know, let's not try to rotate and win a race here. Let's just go ahead and try to wipe out as much as we can so Affinity feels pretty much good and clear and safe to just go ahead and uh, address the site while they're by themselves. So... Really great commitment there from Bazaar. I love seeing that. Yeah, it has worked out for them this time. Interestingly, Sicko takes the chance, actually uses uh, Bazaar's smoke against them, and he's going to do it again here. But he's not going to be able to catch anyone out, but it kind of shows just um, how much you can uh, have your own utility kind of um, pretty much thrown right back at you. Yep. Dexter is no longer with us. Here, in the restroom up there. Inns. It's just a bit of a little back and forth going on between that flyboard there. Just a walkway. B's gonna be the uh, site that Bizarre go for this time. But they might have left it too late again. This utility still got some on the side of Greyhound. It could really delay things. Bizarre, though, have quite a bit saved up, though, so they could work through it. They've got to do it. They've got to do it now. Oh, man. Hopper does not get Licky, but he gets MTRW behind them. Inns is there to follow it up, and he's actually going to be able to provide a lot of pressure on the side. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the Molotov out. Oh no. Sicko. 
with an orb. Don't walk into it. Oh, yep. Um, just caught the top few pixels of what I said there. This is a one versus one situation. Well, uh, Affinity doesn't have the pressure. The, the, there's no kit. There isn't. Oh no. Uh, well, Affinity, perhaps a little bit too eager for, to um to secure the victory. There was too low in health, and that's pretty much why Sick was able to finish him with the USP. Um, so he was also just a bit mindful of that and was basically thinking, hey, if I stay hidden, um, I'll stay around the corner, maybe they just round the corner and they only have to get that one surprise shot off with a USP and I'm, I'm done. So he took his chances and, well, paid the price, unfortunately, that round. I would have liked it if they rotated more towards construction. That would have been nice because he had the time. Uh, there was no defuse kit. I, I don't know. It's... Uh, but fair enough. Um, I I gotta say, still, Bazaar had a convincing round. They were able to buy back into it, and they've been they've been getting a lot more clear trades. So slowly but surely, I I see a silver lining to the second half of of the set. So call me stupid optimistic, Jeff, but um, I I I'm, I'm feeling good for Bazaar to do a little bit better in this next go around i'm kind of not knocking them out this game but clearly greyhound will convincingly have the lead here oh yes they are the stronger ones the favorites going into this not to say bizarre haven't had their moments against them though well that wasn't one of them mtrw though does get the trade MP9s can be absolute hell, especially if they catch you out like that. If the stars align, or more accurately, the players. And oh boy. you get yourself a fair bit of money for it. And again, we're seeing bizarre that they are playing a little bit more timid. And they're pretty much getting stuck in these positions where they're just having to go onto the site with only you know, 30, 20 seconds, sometimes much less. It puts them in spot here where they have to try and rush and go into certain death almost just try and get that bomb plant 10 seconds left the bomb will go down but oh, no utility from greyhounds there so not really much of a chance to uh stop that but we do have the long play here coming in from Malta. he's going for the long flank around i don't know if Lara was actually oh no not enough health And Lado is able to secure that one kill onto Inns there, but Malta, fully health, full armor, is uh, able to trade that one out with um, with absolute ease. Gets himself a nice AWP for his troubles as well. Like I said, Jeff, this is still going to be very convincing from Greyhound, but uh, again... These rounds have been a lot more closer for Bizarre uh, each time. They do have hesitation, but at least once they finally get through that threshold. So if they commit a lot more earlier to a site, I think they would be a lot better off, especially when they they exert so much utility right off the bat that it really does concern me that when they get control of the site, they have no way to, to drop smokes or anything. They were pretty much caught in broad daylight. That would have been so nice if they had like an extra smoke or flash to be able to get around some stuff. It was just, if it was for Infinity, maybe having that little bit more health, it might have won that round. So uh, again, they're getting very close with Greyhound, which is great, but uh, commitment is more I want to see from them. Yes, absolutely. I think it's going to be a key if they want to be able to try and string together these last six rounds. But it's it's really uh, Greyhound's defense that's um, kind of uh, stopping them each time, of course. I mean, hard to want to actually rush into a site or try and get those early advantages or take those early risks if you feel like you're going to get um, pretty much slapped for doing it. And Tomato, he's going to take such a risk. Almost lines himself up two kills, but Inns is low on health, and that could give them the foothold they need onto the side. Bomb is actually just outside of despawn here. So once it's picked up, I think it's pretty much a given that they're going to have to run to 
be, especially with um, Lado and Affinity there just outside. Inns, he somehow manages to get that kill into Lado before he's actually finally taken out there. Defense into the hands oh, of Dick Stacy here. Oh, but the Dexter from the side, yes. That's um, that's the thing. We've said it. That's... They're getting pressured, and they're having to make uh, very hasty decisions. Yep, with little to no time, it's just not going to work. You can get all the information that you want, but if you don't have enough time to work with it, then it's really just not going to work out. It's it's a gray area, Jeff. It really is. When, like, the balance of trying to find information and then committing to a play with the information that you got, because basically the way they've been playing and, and how slow it is, it's really almost like old news every time they get stuff. So I really want to see this committing. Oh my god, Dexter, are you going to get another lineup again? Oh no, they didn't know there was a second one there! You only heard the first one on Playground before, but that's still gonna be enough. I mean, that's... That's... I mean, absolute credit to Bizarre, though. They do quickly trade that out. MTIW was able to um, look at that and react to it pretty nicely there. And... This is uh, this is something pretty good for Bizarre. It's uh, over a minute left, and player advantage is theirs. They've got a fairly decent amount of control of the map here. Greyhound looked to be wanting to uh, retake a bit of that control just towards mid here. Toy out there. Nick Stacy putting in the first bit of work for it. He gets himself two kills. This is uh, suddenly a lot less even. Sicko waiting for him. He now has uh, control of the bomb as well. And Tomato. Um, well, Tomato's actually having uh, lag. Severe lag. He's um, yeah, he's yep. he's that, that ping is climbing. That's a uh, three twenty five at the moment. That oh, is geez. that's a little bit painful. I yeah, that's that's not fair. In fact, he's pretty much uh, motionless now. I think he's running around the house. He's about to kick the sister off of the Wi-Fi. I think maybe. <laughs> But he's timed out. He's gone. So, uh, some yeah, sibling of some wars. sort. Oh, gosh. Well, I guess he gets to replay that game again. Or round, excuse me. Uh, so, we can uh, see what happens. I don't think they will, actually. Oh, um, they'll just accept this as like an 11 2. Yeah, a fair amount of the round had passed and somebody had been damaged. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's very true. That's, that's very true. Typically, the way it goes, yeah. That's... I was just thinking because it's the best of one, they might be like, uh, you know, just like they'll take it on the chin. They'll just go like, yeah, we'll go again. I mean, they could. Tomato's back. Um, Ping is doing considerably better. It's uh, just dropped below 100, so... It's almost that's, like they that's grabbed playable. somebody's computer, smashed it to the ground, and said thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine what would have um, happened over on Tomato's side there. That's, it's, uh, well, it's certainly done the trick. That ping is, I'm, I'm going to say a respectable 20. That's, that's pretty good. With that, we are unpaused, dropping back into, this is going to be the 14th round. Bizarre. They have a chance. They can get themselves two extra rounds. Maybe... Maybe they have, like, 10,000 Google Chrome tabs open at once, trying to study all the VODs of Greyhound while they were playing against them, because they really are trying to figure out this place now. Oi vey! Sicko, yeah, I think they are. Barely Chris Trot and Dexter, though, from Connector. They're not even expecting it. They'll take out Tomato. But, bizarre, they just want to push through this. They want to try and get something for it, and Lado gets, well, he gets himself that kill onto Dexter. Finally puts down that menace. But the trouble is all the way back up here, and its name is Sicko. He will take out Lotto. And, well, he's able to get the drop. He's able to get the drop twice. Dick Stacy is dead as well. Two versus one, but it's really this, uh... What Greyhound have been doing each time here, they just go for that long flank whenever they get the uh, chance there. And look at this. He is aware of it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 
Um, well, Kobe? Yeah, Kobe. And that's all you guys say. I, I mean, there's really nothing else you could do there that was, you, you were at that health, you took the damage, you tried your best. It was a safe as you can plant while you are literally the only one remaining in a 2v1 and you were kind of sandwiched there by Greyhound. So there you go. I think they're all, I think they're going to go ahead. I think this match is paused technically because they want to fix the uh, ping, I'm sure, for Tomato or somebody else. Uh, Tomato is, yeah, it's climbing again. It's like 200. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, not not peak gaming condition. Guys, stop watching the VODs, dude. Take away some Chrome tabs. Yeah. Be in the moment now. Be in the moment. <laughs> that's like that's such a problem that Bizarre is having at the moment is being in the moment. They're trying to get information. They're taking too long, they're doing this. Like they're really good. I think they're really good. I think they can I think they can do really, really well if they just, you know, started doing things earlier. You know, Jeff? You knew you could do a lot of stuff with a lot of time and get information while you're on the go. See, ask go. That's. <laughs> I missed that from you. The puns. Um. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. That was that was such a beautiful. That that was pretty much poetry, about how. Having a bajillionty <laughs> Google Chrome tabs is like living in the past when you've got an actual game against Greyhound that you're supposed to be playing. That was that was beautiful. It was the most PG thing I could think of that uh, revolves around terrible ping <laughs> and having a high CPU. Unless they're playing on the most beautiful graphics and we, we've not... Like, they have a monitor that's able to process, like the biggest i don't know the high res like 4 4k vr hands on experience for <laughs> csgo like something so I, i'm just looking at the dancing so silly oh man i i don't know jeff Je jeff what what do you think we need to see from bizarre i think uh, they uh well yeah um they pretty much need to be able to get that ground sooner. And they've been doing that, in fact. You know, they were able to create a fairly even situation for themselves at the end of that last round. Just for the fact that, yeah, they were pretty much just pushing Greyhound, getting those frags. Um, look, there have been some fairly decent opening frags there from, from Bizarre. I think they could definitely do it. They're just... Um, and I, I think they are just a little bit... Uh, I don't want to say intimidated, but they're wary. They're cautious, which you'd want to be. Sure, they're, they're it's respecting. A, it's a tough team. Yeah. But I think if Greyhound's not going to respect it, you know, you shouldn't either because they have Psycho in such an aggressive position as the opera. They're keeping them in mid and literally getting all the information from that. And then they're just kind of doing a juggling act with the rest of the players where Psycho is just a juggler saying, okay, well, here's one at long. Here's There's one at construction. You know, there's ones near the tunnel. And it's just like, they know exactly where everything is just because they're passing by so slowly at Bazaar, just trying to get as much information. They're going back and forth, trying to make sure that everything checks out. They're, they're submitting their homework last minute, making sure that everybody's answers are not the same. They're phrased a little bit differently from each time. You know, just got to be careful. Because the teacher will punch you for that. Absolutely. I mean... Bizarre had a lot of homework that they could have gone over getting into uh, into this matchup. Especially yeah. considering that, you know, Greyhound... Uh... But they wanted more time for video games. Oh. Fortnite? Uh, it's, it's Fortnite, right? That's what they've been playing. That's right, yep. They need to get the latest dance, Jeff. And right now, this song and dance that they're doing is just killing them. Ooh, Dexter. Like so. Yep, he will take them out in the restroom. Now I've got to try and win a couple of jewels. That's fine. I mean, he gets that extra kill. That's that's great for him. We take those. Ooh, oh my god! Close range. Oh my god! <laughs> he didn't even no want respect. to wait for Dick Stacy to actually get that kill. I almost how I selfish! Thought it was going to be a no scope. <laughs> hey, might now. I thought he was actually going to no scope that. Just how close it was. Uh, that, that would have been beautiful. 
I, I would have <laughs> fell off my oh. chair. Whoa! Okay. No. Uh, MTR. They will. Uh, gets, <laughs> gets, uh, well, one last, uh, I'm gonna say stylish kill right at the end there, and it's a, uh, 2 to 13 half. Sides will swap. Silver and, lining. Yeah, bizarre. Uh, they're learning. See how they're, they're, learning. Uh, they're growing from this. That we've, well, we've, yeah. seen, we've seen genuine progression from them. I'm always going to be optimistic, Jeff. I, I hope you remembered this from our last casting. I will always try to look for the silver lining in this. And I think much in the same way that Crazy went up against Astralis, uh, I feel like Bizarre going up against Greyhound is going to be quite a learning experience. You you do get stopped later on into, into further into the series, but you... Uh, you you every time you make it that much more hard fought, and uh, you know it's again we don't I don't think economically they're they're not using their investments improperly. I think it's again just the the lack of commitment, and I think Bazaar just needs to. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to sound like broken record, but yeah, just commit more. All right, we're gonna see for like almost an entire whole. Well, it's pistol round, so. Uh, I mean, we'll see Bizarre have a kit. So, I mean, that... If if anything, Bizarre, I think, is understanding, it's like they need to have time on their side, and a kit will allow you to do that very much so. Yep. And a bit of a reverse. We've actually got Tomato pushing Playground now, so they know it's B, but I don't think that Rotate's going to have uh, come in in time. In fact, it's not. And, well, B site's open for business. Bomb is being planted. And this is going to be an interesting 4 versus 5 retake. We actually... Oh no. Oh no. Wait for it. Yep, Dexter with a knife. Takes out Tomato. Oh, Tomato, you're in such a good position to do so much good work there, but Dexter is just not going to allow it to happen. Yeah, I mean, the Tomatoes are right. You have to harvest them. No? I miss okay. I missed you, Bemmy. I missed, I missed you. you too, Jeff. I missed you too. <laughs> I mean, look, all I can say is Farmer Dexter coming in strong. Uh that knife is also going to send him through the roof economically now, just because Greyhound just immediately into this next round has so much flashes going for them that they're just gonna rush into the site, get to match point, and I don't think Bazaar is really gonna come back from this quite soon, especially when you have affinity again investing into the scout. I don't get this. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not on board with it. Oh, I mean, he's uh, he's all the way on the other side of the map, practically. He's rotating in quick there. Trades haven't been as bad as expected. Tomato there actually getting himself a kill, which is good. He instantly traded out after it, though. And Affinity has to try... Well, might have tried to get that higher ground, but he's not going to do it. MTIW is completely blind. He has to hide. And Greyhound, they've got over a minute left. So many decisions they could be making. Oh no, bullets running low, match point oh. given to Greyhound. My gripe with, with the uh, scout is that it's just... Bizarre always tagging and not following up. Or not getting the kills. Not landing the shots or whatever. Get them for oh. another scout again. I'm not a really big fan of this. It's it's actually really good if you want to be able to chip away at a fully bought up side's health. So yep, that he's not specifically following it up himself, but he is really setting things up for the rest of his teammates. Well, there. I'm not even talking. But its teammates are not following up. That's that's the ah. that's what I'm talking about. Ins and connector. Well, dispatch with you there. And Affinity, he's trying to keep an eye on Long, and he's turned away at potentially a critical moment. Siko there's just walking freely. He doesn't necessarily seem to uh, worry about much. Affinity's uh, been taken out. That's forced to rotate, and this could mean bad news. On to B. Tomato didn't see in smoke. Yes, he did, finally. We'll take Addict Stacy and a bit of a get copped through. Okay. Flyboard there. Has something going for him. So, we'll see what they can do. It's technically still advantage for Greyhound. Still trading though, they don't want to do that. And 40 seconds remaining, they can take their time if they want to. Oh, well, 
bit of an early peek there through Smoke Dexter's waiting for it though. MTIW. Not gonna be expecting that. Hop onto the back of the teammate there and a peek, and that is it. Greyhound will win this one rather convincingly. Yeah, certainly convincingly, and but not surprising at all because Greyhound is Greyhound. They're a very strong team. But I think definitely we saw Bizarre grow and progress in that in that game. I'm sure they got intimidated in a lot of ways, but I hope they watch back at some VOD somewhere, wherever they're watching this, and uh, just take take some notes of just like, okay, more concise executions, less time spending on getting your info because at some point that's going to be old news and greyhound was pretty much playing a game of cat and mouse with them where they were kind of just going like okay well they're just going to think we're going to be here so we'll just shake it up here and psycho just really was just left uncontested hanging out in mid had so much information got the kills which is pretty much just like when they were getting information and swapping sides they were a little all over the place but overall i think individual individualistically and talent wise i think bizarre is really cool and i think the more they play together, because you did say it's a new team, uh, I think the more we're going to see uh, really good showing from them further on into the season. Absolutely. I'm going to be really keen to to see what they bring and how they go from uh, pretty much, yeah, throughout the entire season. Because, especially said it, individually, they've got, um, they've got a fair bit of talent there. So it's chances like these where they do get to play against a team where um, a, a lot of their uh, mistakes do get punished that, it's exactly as you said perfect learning experience but i think that is just about everything we can say about this unless you had any final thoughts about this game no jeff give it a break and that's what we're gonna do (laughs) so don't go anywhere we'll be right back with another series coming up Are you searching for a better Counter-Strike experience all in one place? Compete for over a million dollars in Pug and League prizes all on one platform. Track and share your performance with our advanced stats pages. Frag out and rank up on the industry-leading anti-cheat. Sign up for ESEA today. This is Game Fuel. It's domination in a can. Tastes like loser tears. New Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel. Victory in a can. 